Hello and welcome to this exciting video on the Triple Bollinger Band Trading Strategy. In this video we will discuss a powerful scalping strategy that you can use to become a more informed trader and investor in the stock market. We'll cover everything from indicator settings to trade to implementing a solid entry and exit strategy. But before we dive in, I want to encourage you to watch to the end of the video so you won't want to miss any of the crucial insights and information we will be sharing. Now this strategy uses free and widely available indicators so you can feel free to follow along while we do. And if you find this content valuable, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel to stay updated on our latest trading strategies. Also, we'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. Let us know your thoughts, questions, or even your own experience with scalping. So let's get started and help you take your trading game to the next level. As the name implies, this trading strategy uses three Bollinger Bands. Let's start with a fast one with a length of 10. We set the standard deviation to 1. The second one we have a length of 50 and we set the standard deviation to 1. And the third we have a standard we have a length of 100 and we also set the standard deviation to 1. This gives you a series of overlapping bands and I like to set them up so the longest one, the slowest one, sits on top of the faster ones to give you this sort of fan shape to reflect price reciprocating inside of trend, inside of trend. So the way that you'd use this, the way that I use this, is I use the longer term trend and the short term trend inside of it to create a sort of jump roping situation. What I like to do is wait until price breaks down below the short longer term band or breaks above the longer term band. And that gives me a trade. So in this instance, we take a short trade here and I have to close this bar. I like to put my stops around the length of the longer term, or the other side of the longer term Bollinger Band, and I'm going to let it run for a little while. The idea of this trade is to hold as long as possible, and I tend to use it to sell premium, but you can use it however you want. In this instance, this one would continue all the way until it broke the band on the other side down here. Which is a pretty decent trade. That gives you a solid 13.28 risk to reward ratio. However, this is probably a, one of the better ones. Um, most of them do not have that kind of risk to reward ratio, but they can, and that's the point. So let's look what happens when it doesn't work. <clears throat> The trade immediately before it. If you want to take a long, you wait until it crosses up the band here. You could probably buy that. Put a stop below and let it run. And it's going to run, it's going to run, it's going to run, and it's going to stop you out. Which isn't that bad. And you had, if you wanted to get out, you had plenty of opportunity to get out and take the trade. When this band crosses back a little here, you could probably exit for a break even, or when it comes up, it you know starts breaking down back down into these. You can take it off there. I mean, you have plenty of chances to get out if that's how you wanted to play it. But ultimately, that one didn't work. Let's look at another one that worked. Here it comes breaks below, we can take a short there. Move one there. You're gonna let ride. And it breaks back above over here. So if you hadn't already taken it off, when it started breaking back up into the band here or into here, or if, even if you were smart and you took off one of these lows, if you used a faster reciprocator like a, a, a much faster length RSI or stochastic and you kind of held it for a good amount of time you waited for a low end trend to take it off you could do that too um, trying to maximize your uh, risk to return try and maximize your risk to reward but in this case you made 1.4 the one here breaking up above take a long It goes like that. 
Feels like that where you're going to stop out. So the entire idea behind this strategy, and let me know if you heard this one before, a uh, common adage in trading is you want to cut your losers quickly and you want to let your winners run. And this is simply a very um, consistent mathematical way that I attempt to do that in my own trading. I obviously have different ways to maximize my entries and exits. There's a lot of time where I use this as a longer term trend identifier and I'm trading faster reciprocation inside of it. Sometimes, you know, I, I also, you know, measure the average time it stays above and below this band um, by calculating the uh, absolute value of this band relative to this one and then it gives me a nice reciprocated one. And I can start saying things like, well, you know, this thing will last uh, about 100 bars in general, and this has lasted, you know, 250 or whatever. So somewhere around here is probably where it starts to get old, and I can trade it counter trend, or however I'm going to do it. I use this sort of idea in numerous ways, and I'm not the only one who does this. This is a idea behind a lot of indicators in one way or another where you're looking at changes in momentum over time across different time frames. <clears throat> so if this sounds interesting, I suggest you experiment it with experiment I suggest you experiment with it on your own tickers and time frames uh, to see how it performs for you in back testing and forward testing. I personally like this for selling um, options because in the way that I do it, a lot of times you're, you can, it burns a good amount of time even if it's going to stop you out and then stops you out pretty close to where it got you in, you know what I mean? Um, so if you're short an option and you have enough data decay, this trade, even though you lost because of price, could very much have ended up as a small winner or a scratch break even. And then in that case, when it does run, um, I can really milk that short option as much as I want. So it breaks down in there, and if you got in there, that's a pretty good swing on a short option. You would have uh, roasted a lot of the premium. Um, so that's how I use it a lot. Um, and I don't use this specific band setting. I have a slightly augmented one that kind of has a, a lot more relatively built into it and runs off of stochastic, but um, it's the same sort of idea. Thank you for watching the video on the triple Bollinger Band trading strategy. We hope you found the information helpful and insightful, and if you have any questions or feedback, please leave them in the comment section below. We'd be happy to get back to you as quickly as we can. And if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more like it, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. Uh, by doing so, you'll stay updated on our latest trading strategies and tips, helping you become a more successful trader and investor. Remember, trading is a constant learning process, and we're here to help you every step of the way. So don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And I'll check you in the next video. You have a great night.